All right, guys, it's Sunday here, but it's Monday in Asia, and we are talking about Asia today. And um, this is a big thing going on right now, guys. We got a lot of stuff coming out of Asia this week. Uh, we had FTX, Japan, able customers able to withdraw uh, last Tuesday. Some people are still having issues with that, but for the most part, people are taking off their money off the liquid exchange, which was, was uh, formed because of the FTX collapse so people could get their money out. So Japanese customers withdrawing funds from FTX, uh, we got major cryptocurrencies up. We got NEO, Chinese uh, first ICO blockchain uh, company. Uh, NEO cryptocurrency is up. It's starting to rise again. We got Filecoin, which although isn't a Chinese crypto, uh, it's based out of uh, Palo Alto, but it is the most profitable coin to mine right now, one of the most profitable. And uh, Chinese investments are, they are mining this. There's tons of articles online. You can look it up. Uh, Chinese are investing in mining companies to my, mine Filecoin. Um, Quantum, another Chinese company or another Chinese crypto is taken off as well. So, you know, we got a lot of indication to me that this bull run, like Cameron Winklevoss said, uh, is starting in Asia, is going to be uh, the precursor that sets the floor for this next major bull run. So I'm um, definitely excited about all this stuff going on. Also, out of India, they, they came to a consensus within the group of G20 nations to ban cryptocurrency, hit roadblocks, simply because they've talked to experts, guys. They can't stop this technology and they can't stop crypto. So, um, you know, they're mad about crypto. India's uh, joining the list on, on being mad about it, but they're just going to have to get over it. It's, it's not a technology that uh, governments and uh, war and all this stuff will turn off. So, um, yeah, China's also CoinFlux, its first uh, public blockchain. A lot of stuff coming out on this CoinFlux token or crypto. Um, I'm not sold on it yet just because it, you know, it's been too wobbly in price for me to really catch interest, but it's up 1300% to say the least. Uh, China's only first public blockchain. I'm not really sure if that's necessarily true because NEO, um, NEO is a public blockchain. Um, Quantum is a public blockchain. So define public blockchain in, 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 the, in the context of what is a public blockchain. They're going to have to give me a little bit more on this, but it just seems like a bunch of yam, yam, yeah. So I'm not going to really dive into this too much, but uh, China's printing money, guys. So uh, they injected this week, a couple days ago, they injected um, a large bit of money um, to provide liquidity to the banks. So People's Bank of China injects liquidity. Will Bitcoin price get a boost? Well, it's already been rising. Uh, the week before, the week prior. So down here is just a little chart. I'll drop all these in the uh, description, guys. But there is, um, you know, here's COVID and here's the money printing again, money printing 2.0. So I'll drop this in there as well. And um, yeah, so here's a here's an article I got here. Why Chinese coins, Filecoin, Neo, Neo, CoinFlux, VeChain are already yielding massive gains. And they've been some of the best performers of this year. So just take note of that, that, um, you know, the Chinese companies, the Chinese blockchain developers, that kind of thing is fueling uh, what we're seeing now in cryptocurrency. So um, I put in an, uh, a video a couple days ago on exchange OKEX. It was originally a Chinese cryptocurrency exchange. They had subsidiaries in Korea um, in a, over 100 different countries um, other than the United States, but they are expanding as well. Um, you know, just on a side note, major, the biggest volume player in the game for like coins like Bitcoin Cash and um, some other coins like that. So um, they are they are doing a massive hiring right now. So just general, not that everything is coming necessarily out of China, um, but as we know, um, just because ch uh, the average Chinese citizen on mainland China can't trade crypto. That is all about to change um, down down south in Hong Kong, where you know two laws, one country, whatever the, whatever it's called, two laws, one system, something like that. They are June first. People are going to be able to uh, trade cryptocurrency. So we'll see how that unfolds as well. And remember, just because China, the mainland Chinese, they have fueled rallies in the past several rallies in the past plus token all sorts of rallies go back and look at it on 99bitcoins.com there's tons of stuff coming out of china now but remembering before and where we're at now you got to remember bitmain jihan Wu, big bitcoin cash supporter um he 
he and his company, um, I'm not sure if he's still the CEO of it, but he created Bitmain, which creates the biggest um, supplier and distributor of mining equipment. So just because China and mainland Chinese can't trade crypto right now, doesn't mean that China isn't uh, grounded in this stuff already and uh, mining and all that kind of stuff, you know, the private sector, the government sector, there's mining going on in China, let me tell you. So um, yeah, so a lot of just, it's just a recap episode of everything that's going on. Like I said, Neo up, Quantum up, uh, Filecoin taking some Chinese interest. So all these are Chinese cryptocurrencies. Um, money printing in China has resumed as of not too long ago. I mean, I got the chart right here. So the money printing has resumed in China right here, 2023, print, print, print. And China's public blockchain, CoinFlux. Again, I'm not totally sold on this coin, but it is up over 1300% year to date. And um, it's, it's definitely on the rise. So um, yeah, we'll see kind of how this stuff plays out. Um, I, I do believe with Cameron Winklevoss kind of hitting on that Twitter post that um, you know, cryptocurrencies are going to, the rally is going to be started in the East. I thought that was just the, the perfect cherry on top. So hope you liked the episode and I'll try to make another episode uh, as soon as possible and let you guys know what's going on in crypto and uh, wherever you're at in the world, day or, day or night, make sure it's a great day or night and we'll see you on the next episode.